We all have those days or weeks where life gets difficult, and that's not a bad thing. Life is so dynamic and rich that we'll definitely go through times that feel out of our reach or out of our control, but those are the times where we can actually really grow and learn. Over the past couple of years, I've learned how to ground myself better so that I feel calm and peaceful and sit with myself at ease. Grounding means refocusing on the present moment and not getting lost in your thoughts and emotions. It doesn't mean controlling everything around you you, but rather allowing and giving yourself space to get out of your head and become closer to yourself and feel more connected to your roots and your foundation. The first thing I do is something what I call going from my head to my heart. I don't know what the exact technique is and I don't remember where I learned this, but I feel like from like my several years in business and like looking into personal development, there have been many times where a good grounding technique is just like taking everything you have in your head and really just like and envisioning like you going down into your heart or your gut area and so that you can like refocus your attention. So I usually do this if I just have like so many thoughts in my head and like I feel like I'm out of control, like I'm overthinking or I just have like just so many thoughts. What I literally do is I just like take my hands and then I breathe. I basically, when I breathe out, I imagine myself going like my presence going from my head all the way down to my heart. And then usually when that happens, like I basically stop thinking and then like I just feel more grounded. And then what I like to do is just like be still and like receive, see if I can like intuitively receive something like a phrase or something that like my wise self would tell me. So just to give you an example, like I always have a lot of thoughts going around in my head about my business or like things are not working. Why is this is worrying? Like, how can I make this better? Like so many thoughts or like, I'm not good enough. And then, so once I do the head to the heart thing, then I'm just like really calm. For example, like one thing I received intuitively is Dina you can do it and just trust the process and after I receive that it's just like it just like calms me down hopefully I explained that well let me know in the comments and literally this technique takes like five seconds to do and it just like helps so much in the moment when you are like lost in your thoughts the next four things I'm going to share are more like grounding activities that I do that are I do for like a longer period of time so the first one is running and for me I I've talked about running a lot actually on my channel and running for me like for years has been just such a therapeutic and meditative activity like I always run in the park even when it's cold even when it's like zero degrees I just like put more clothes on I do have a running video which I will link below that has like more information about like how I got started running and like tips if you want to start like a running habit but basically running for me like really like when I'm so caught up in my thoughts and everything and I don't feel grounded running gets me out of my head it's like a physical activity right so I'm not saying you have to like run but if there is some kind of physical activity that you like doing it could be it could be walking it could be running it could be swimming or just going to the gym as well. Like it could be something that gets you out of your head and something physical that you do that makes you feel good. And also like, I'm sure science and like research, obviously exercise is good for you. And like when you get your heart pumping, it's like good for anxiety and stress and like so many things, not just like mentally, but like emotionally and physical too. For me, another part about running is just like getting out into nature. And it doesn't mean I have to go to the mountains or go to the flower fields, like literally even running around in a residential area, like it gets me out of the house and gives me like fresh air. Yeah, I just feel like nature in general like really adds to that grounding aspect. Another activity that I love doing and that I have talked a lot on this channel is journaling. You can check out these journaling videos that I made before. So basically when it comes to journaling, like for me, when I'm thinking a lot, I can just brain dump everything into my journal and it just like clears my mind because I'm literally, it's like I'm moving all my thoughts that are in my head and like they're all swarming around and then like I write them down in my journal and it 
it's like I'm just transferring everything into my journal and like clearing my head. Once I write it down in my journal, like it's easier for me to not think about things because I feel like I just got it all out. Like I just have to let it all out. With journaling, I really feel like it gives me a lot of space to make room for other things in my mind. And it just like really calms me down. So if you haven't journaled before, like you can literally just get a notebook or you can also like type a journal. Like I don't think it really matters, but I do think that writing like pen to paper, it does have benefits too, just because it is slower than typing. So you really, it is good for like processing your thoughts. Another activity is yoga and stretching and meditating, which I feel like there's a lot of, like I, I think it, everybody talks about that, <laughs> but I do have to add it into the list because I feel like everybody talks about it, but it, it's effective and that's why everybody talks about it. So whatever you do, whether it's like yoga or stretching or just like literally sitting down and meditating, like you are more present, you're focusing on your breath and like you're really slowing down. So to give you some suggestions on what you you can do to get started. I really love the YouTube channel Great Meditation. Like they have so many meditations and like I love their the thumbnails. <laughs> also just like that channel is super soothing. Like the voice is super duper nice and like I love it. For yoga, I like yoga with Adrienne and also Jessica Richberg. And one that I regularly do is like the Jessica Richberg, I think it's like the 10 minutes meditation before you go to sleep like that one I just do in bed and it's actually really really nice so I'll link that one below as well for stretching I mean there's a lot of different kinds of stretches you can do but one of one that I have done with my friend before that I really like is the Pamela Reef like a 20 minute stretch so I will link it down below as well and you can check it out the next activity that really grounds me is reading so it's like an activity that I do for pleasure for myself I do it by myself and it really slows me down and and also like i usually read books that are like help me grow in a way like non-fiction books about personal development or business or productivity which is like me learning about a certain topic that i'm interested in and when i read it's like i can learn and slow down and also it kind of it is sort of like an escape i'm not saying we should escape our thoughts but like it's like you get a break from if like things are crazy in your life like that activity for me really helps me to kind of like pause a bit from my life and just like enjoy something else so for you it doesn't have to be reading necessarily it could be any activity that you enjoy that kind of gives you a bit of space and gets your mind off of things however if you aren't reading i highly do recommend building a reading habit because it is so good for like growing as a person and just improving your life in general like there are so many great books and it doesn't even have to be like reading physical books like there are so many like audiobooks as well so if you do want to build a reading habit make sure you check out this video because i explain how you can build a reading habit and how you can change your life doing that mm -hmm.